Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aurea and this is DIY with Aurea. Today is another five under five and this theme is summer decor. It is being hosted by Farm Charm Chic with Emily and the guest host is Happiness Created with Tammy. Today we must create five projects under $5. I'm going to be leaving the links down in my description box along with the playlist that you can go ahead and as soon as you watch this video you jump right into that playlist and continue watching more inspiration don't forget to subscribe share and like to their channels and let them know that i send you and if you are coming from one of the other platforms welcome to my channel for my first project i'm going to recycling this this was gifted to me about 12 13 years ago it was dark blue then i switched it around and i painted in yellow and in white so today i'm going to go ahead and spray it with rustoleum white paint i'm giving it two coats now this piece is completely dry I waited several hours so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it with these uh, rhinestones and remember this is five on the five so each project has to cost less than five dollars and of course I didn't pay anything for this recycle bathtub and the rhinestones that cost me $1.25 at the dollar store. So now I have some metallic gold paint and with that I'm gonna be painting the legs. I wind up giving three coats to only the legs. It's something about that acrylic paint it just did not want to grab. But it came out absolutely gorgeous. Look at how nice and classy this looks. This is going to go in my bathroom, my um, new home. And I am going to be putting cotton balls in the inside. And um, pretend like it's a bubble bath. And this is my first project. Less than $5. I'll show you that as soon as I am done with this one. This one is candle jar once upon a time it held a candle i did not want to throw it out so i'm adding painters tape here and there and then the exposed glass i'm gonna come in with white chalk paint and i'm gonna be giving it three coats so now that this is dry let's go ahead and remove this painters tape and because this did not turn out totally perfect, I'm just going to clean it up with a little bit of alcohol. Once I try to clean this up as much as possible, then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of these gold rhinestones. This is gonna turn out so absolutely classy. I also wanna remind you that I have this playlist down below in my description box for your convenience. This collaboration takes place every fifth of each month and this month is summer decor. We must create five DIYs on the $5. Emily, the host, every month she picks a new guest host. And this month is Tammy. Make sure to visit them and give them a lots of love once again by sharing, subscribing, and liking their channels. Also, let them know that I sent you. And I'm also going to be adding a strip of three. And as you see, I removed all the rhinestones from the neck of the bottle because I thought that with this strip, it would look a lot better and look at how classy and i will be adding some q-tips in the inside of this jar and here is the final reveal I purchased this jar at Walmart, I believe, for like $3. And there was a candle in there. And this is a candlestick. It's new at my uh, Dollar Tree. All I'm going to be doing is 
adding plenty of hot glue and then just adhering both of these pieces together and we are creating an absolute beautiful candle holder and i'm going to show you how i finish uh, decorating it it's ugh, amazing i am totally in love with these projects and if you follow me you know that i love my glam decor so that's what i'm going for doesn't that look beautiful i also have some stickers and they are butterfly i also purchased them at dollar tree i'm gonna go ahead and take this huge and this is going to be complemented by the rhyme stones that i am about to place on this jar this is absolutely gorgeous i'm telling you guys i cannot stop saying how in love i'm with this piece this is absolutely gorgeous And look at how simple and gorgeous. I also have another one. And this one is a little different. This is also recycled. I have this napkin holder. And this is also from Dollar Tree. I am adding plenty of hot glue. And I am uh, hearing all of these pieces together. And this bottom portion right here, that was from Dollar Tree as well. I'm also going to continue to decorate this piece with more of these beautiful butterflies. And I also have some rhinestones. And I will also be placing some of them on the jar and this is it and if you ask me how much i pay for this vase close to nothing because this is a recycled piece the napkin holder i it comes six in a package and the bottom portion they are like dessert glass or dessert little plates and they come four in a package from also dollar tree so of course this was less than three dollars and here it is i hope you enjoy this one And for this final project, I have this beautiful picture frame. It's nice and sturdy. I purchased this at a garage sale and I did pay about $1.20 for it. I disassembled it and after I gave it a nice wipe down, I came in with white chalk paint and gave it two coats. So after the frame was dried, I came in with this little construction paper. I cut it to size and that's going to be inserted inside the frame. And then of course I'm putting everything back together. And after I put everything back together, I realized that the flower that I want to put inside, it would look better if I would remove the glass so it could look nice and cohesive. You see what I'm talking about. And this is a wall sticker and I purchased this at Dollar Tree. It's two flowers but i'm only going to be using one i like this one so what i'm doing is i'm going to be folding this in half and then once it's folded in half i am going to cut it and this is where i started to disassemble it again and now let's go ahead and place this in top of the glass one on each corner this is going to turn out really pretty I also want to thank every single one of my viewers, my subscribers and non-subscribers. I know there is a very high percentage of viewers that have not subscribed. If you have if you have not done so, not subscribe, I would love for you to join the family. Just hit that notification bell button as well so like that every time I upload a new video, you will be one of the first ones to be notified. If you have enjoyed this video, give me that big thumbs up. It will help my 
channel. And coming back to this project, I also have some of these beautiful butterflies that I, of course I'm going to be incorporating somewhere in here. Wherever I thought it looked nice, that's where I placed these little butterflies. And I put a total of three. And this is it, my dear friends. Again, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget that playlist. Make sure that you visit them and give them uh, lots of love as well by subscribing to their channels. And once again, thank you for stopping by and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I will see you soon.